No escape. She felt trapped. Wherever she went, he was there, watching her every move, day by day. He had found her one August day at the park with her friends, her long black mop of hair flowing through the wind, smile as bright as the sun with the spirit of an animal roaming through the trees. He stared amazed at what was before him. He had to have her no matter what. Every day at noon, he'd go to the park and watch the young girl play with her friends. Some days, he'd watch them from afar. Other days, he'd sit by the playground to get a closer look at his next victim. He'd watch her now. He watched her now for several weeks and knew everything she would do. Every day after she's done with playing with her friends, she walks through a path in the woods that her dad had made for her. It was the fastest way to get to their house from the park. He followed every day, staying behind far enough so that she wouldn't notice. Then finally, he couldn't take it anymore. He had to have her once and for all. It was cold one dark late afternoon, and the little girl was walking through the woods without her jacket. She had left it at the park and was too scared to turn back and get it. He knew this was the right time to get him. He was waiting deep in the woods for her to pass, and as soon as she came into view, everything was over. He jumped out from where he was hiding and grabbed her arm and quickly covered her mouth so that she couldn't scream. She was fighting to get out of his evil clutches, but he was too strong for her. A small figure kept squirming like a fish out of water. He was growing impatient with her. He threw her on the ground and landed on top, pinning her down so that she had nowhere to turn to. He grabbed the tape out of his bag and taped her mouth shut and tied her hands as well. One, one article of clothing at a time, he started to undress her scared little body. She was crying uncontrollably, trying to fight her way out. It felt as though she had been pinned there on the ground forever as he lay on top of her, stealing her innocence right from under her. She closed her eyes shut, hoping that it would all be over soon. Her small body couldn't take the pain of this man. He was taking everything from her, her childhood and her womanhood. He held her down tightly as he was almost done. Within a few more minutes, it was all over. He got off her and left her there on the ground, sobbing to herself as he covered up his tracks. He kissed the little girl goodbye and disappeared into the night. No one would ever know about what happened in the woods that dark cold night.